Hi, I'm Miss Moore, and I'm going to be your virtual second grade science teacher. Today, we're going to begin so many new and exciting things. Your first assignment is to look below under assignments and click on your student science notebook. When you click on your student science notebook, it is going to ask you to make a copy. Click the blue button to make a copy. Once you've done that, it officially has become your notebook. At the top, you want to write your name, and this is going to be something that you save for the rest of the year. We're going to include all of your vocabulary and everything we learn in this document, so it's very important. Please make sure you pause your video and do that now. This is your first assignment. Remember, make a copy and type your name at the top so we can get started. Pause, stop where we are, and then you'll come back once your notebook is set up. Now that our notebooks are all set up, we're ready to get started with our first important question. What is science? If there's anyone in your house with you right now, mom, dad, a sibling, a friend that you can turn and talk to, pause your video and go ask them, what is science? What is science to you? What is science to them? Can there be de different definitions? Of course. So let's explore them. Feel free to talk with someone or jot something down in your notebook. Once you've finished, we're going to come back and discuss it. Think about it. What is science? Where have you seen it? What tools can we use? And what do you need to think about? Hmm. What is science? After you've discussed it with a friend or jotted down some ideas, you're going to go to Epic. There's a book below called Scientist, Scientist, What Do You See? You're going to read this book in Epic to get some more ideas about what science is. When you're done reading, you're going to come back and we're going to discover some new ideas. Please pause your video, go chat with someone, and then read the book, Scientist, Scientist, What Do You See on Epic? Good luck. I can't wait to hear about all your thoughts when you get back. Now that we've read Scientist, Scientist, What Do You See? Let's take a look at some scientists that are in action. Here are some pictures of scientists that we are going to take a look at. What are they doing in these photos? And what tools are they using to complete tests or learn more? Hmm, this is a different tool than in the first picture. He also seems to be jotting something down. I wonder why he's wearing a mask. These kids look young. Kids can do science? Wow, that's a lot of computers. I also see a blob that kind of looks like what my mom watches on the Weather Channel. I wonder what they're doing here. She seems to be collecting something. I wonder what she's learning about. Binoculars. Hmm. I think those help us see. He seems to be holding them up to his eyes as well. What are they looking at? Hmm. Whoa, what's that? He seems to have a tool too. I wonder why he doesn't want to touch it. Where are these people? He looks like he's questioning something very hard. She might be explaining it to him. I'm not sure, but I do see another computer. The moon? We can do science on the moon? Hmm. I wonder why he's wearing that outfit. A beaker, hmm, that's an important tool. We're gonna to be talking about beakers a lot in our next unit. A beaker is the thing he's using to measure the amount of liquid he puts in that container. Snow, we don't have a lot of snow in North Carolina. I wonder what they are studying. Animals, we could do science on animals? Hmm, another computer. Fire, I wonder what he's doing. All right, now that we've taken a look at some, now that we've learned about what science is, let's take a look back at our first anchor chart. Science is observing, learning, questioning, researching, 
and using tools to complete all of these things. The main part that we're going to focus on today is questioning. What types of questions can we ask so that we have a better understanding for what we're learning about? There are five types of questions that we are going to mainly focus on today. Those questions are who, what, where, when, and why questions. I want you to try to think of some on your own. As you're doing that, I'm gonna help you with some of the questions that I came up with under each of those five question names. Remember that who is a question word that talks about people. So who studies science? Who can be a scientist? Hmm, are there any other who questions that we could add to our anchor chart? The next one is what? What tools do scientists use? We saw a few in the pictures that we looked at in our PowerPoint. What do scientists need to do in order to study a topic? Hmm, I wonder if any of these go along with that question. The next one is when. When usually has to do with the time. So when? Should we use science to predict things? Can you think of anything that we've used to predict? Hmm. Scientists do a lot of predictions. Two, when do we use tools in science? When do I know whether I need to use a thermometer or a beaker? How is that something that we are going to be able to tell? The next is where. Where usually has something to do with a place. So where can we learn about science? Where do I go to research topics? Hmm, there was one thing I kept seeing in all those pictures, and that was a lot of computers. That thing that you have right in front of you can help us do a lot of science and help us get those research questions that we're going to need to answer a lot of things that we're going to be talking about. The last question that we're going to be focusing on is why? Why do we study science? Why are there different areas of study? Why would this be something that we should look into? Think about it and jot down some ideas in your notebook or on a sheet of paper in front of you at your house. Think of some questions that have to start with who, what, where, when, and why. Hmm, I'm sure that you have plenty. Keep in mind that we're just talking about science. Think about the book that you read and think about all of the pictures that we already saw. Let me know what you come up with. I can't wait to hear. Now that we've read a book, talked about science, looked at pictures, let's define the word. This is science. Science is actively investigating how the world works. Right now, you're going to use your science notebook to write that definition down. Feel free to pause this video so it stops so you can copy the green science definition down into your notebook. If you can't get the one to work in front of you, you can also jot this down and write it in one of your notebooks and send a picture to your teacher. The second word that we're going to define today is question. A question is something to be investigated. So we talked about all of these different question words and all of those words give us something that we need to investigate. Why, how, what, when, who, those are all questions that we ask when we wanna know the answer to something. When we wanna look further into something and that's what the word investigate means. So please also jot down the definition of the word question in your science notebook online that you made a copy of, or in your one at home to send a picture to your teacher. As you go through that chart, you'll also see that you'll have to give an example, could be one of the questions that we already came up with, and a picture. You can draw this picture out and send a picture to your teacher to prove that you did your work, or you can go on and search for an image safely on Google using only appropriate pictures. If you need help, ask an adult or someone in your house to help you. Now that you've completed these definitions in your science notebook, you have one task left to do. All you need to do on a sheet of paper or using Google Draw, the directions are below, is to draw a picture that represents science. What does science mean to you? We looked at all of those pictures. We saw a lot of people using tools, observing, learning, questioning, and researching. What's an image that comes to mind when you hear those words? What are things that you've done to explore science? Draw a picture of you doing that, maybe a picture that you saw, something in the book, or anything you can think of. Science is all around us, so be creative. If you're not using Google Draw on your, on your notebook, make sure to send a picture to your teacher. 
Good luck. I can't wait to see what you come up with when we check in tomorrow.